Hello Leo, welcome to another You and Them love reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And as always, it's a general love reading. So it will not resonate with every Leo watching. So keep that in mind. And let's get into this for Leo spirit. What messages do you have for Leo? For Leo? In love? Tell me about Leo's energy in this connection spirit. What are Leo's energies in this connection at this time? Door to personal healing and happiness. Okay. What about Leo's person? Let me just put these down. Tell me about Leo's person. What are their energies at this time? me what is going on <laughs> i start the leo reading and like everything starts to just go haywire oh angel of love flipped up okay okay what are the mutual energies what are the mutual energies for leo blossoming abundance wow okay hopefully this is a good reading for my leos because for some reason, <laughs> Leos have not been doing well in love lately, at least on my channel. All right, Leos, let's see. Let's see if we can get some more information about these energies here. Let me clarify these energies for Leo, please. Tell me more. About these energies. Okay, let's see. Tell me about door to personal healing and happiness. Wow, I just noticed the number 34 is important. 34, 3, and then 4 and 9 break down into a 4. So I have 34, 3, 4. Normally I don't notice that stuff, but I mean, I if I do don't notice it, I never really mention it, but I feel like mentioning it now. Tell me about door to personal healing and happiness. I feel like you're in some sort of a transition period here. Seven of Wands. You're fighting for your own happiness. Standing up for yourself, standing your ground. No one's getting in your way. You're going to walk through this door. Tell me about Angel of Love. The Hangman. Wow. Someone's really been thinking about you, about the situation between you. This is someone who's seen things from a different perspective, has gotten some sort of enlightenment here regarding your connection, regarding love. Bottom of the deck, temperance, reverse, Sagittarius energy. Something hasn't come together here. High priestess after that, okay. Something hasn't come together or, or needs more time, more effort. I feel like this is something that your person isn't talking about though with the high priestess maybe they're keeping this to themselves in some way tell me about blossoming abundance tell me about blossoming abundance ace of pentacles are you kidding me what 
new opportunity here an abundant opportunity blossoming abundance and ace of pentacles wow big offer here queen of wands reversed two of cups reversed what is happening it's almost like something is coming or some sort of opportunity is taking place here after something uh, after a separation or a disconnect let's see for Leo's spirit what does Leo need to know in regards to love alright tell me about Leo what are they thinking or feeling regarding this connection or this other person what are their energies at this time page of pentacles wow making some sort of an offer here or someone's making an offer to you king of swords some sort of communication taking place seven of wands reversed no longer resisting or fighting back seven of swords ten of pentacles what in the world ten of cups reversed you see what i'm saying my poor leos heartbreak disappointment family issues broken commitments cheating lies etc etc i feel like this is what you've been dealing with and i think it sapped your strength we'll see when i clarify what that's all about tell me about leo's person now leo i have you on this side I have your person on the other, but they can be reversed. So feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. If this doesn't resonate at all, that's okay. Check out my playlist for Leos. If it does resonate though, leave me a comment down below and let me know how it's resonating for you. Tell me about Leo's person. The moon reverse, king of cups. See, something here, it's like this person wasn't saying something or keep was keeping something to themselves and it's come out. But it's regarding love. How they feel about you. The love they have for you. The emotion they have for this connection. For you and this connection. Normally I don't just take cards from the deck like this. But yeah, I feel like doing it. Queen of Cups. This is someone who I feel maybe they've been hiding how they truly have felt about you, Leo. Maybe this is someone who sees you two as being a very divine pair. I feel like there's love here between you. So what's going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies for Leo's? Mutual energies, please, Spirit. Wow, King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have Pisces here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with the King of Swords. What are the mutual energies here? Three of Wands, reverse. No longer waiting, impatient. Or possibly missing the boat here. We'll see when I clarify. Can I get one more? What's going on here for Leo's? The Fool reversed. I feel like there's someone who is um, hesitating. Jumping in with both feet here. Perhaps the planning hasn't been the best with the Three of Wands reverse and the Four reverse. This is someone that didn't really plan very well before they took a leap of faith or a risk. Or perhaps this is someone that has waited a little bit too long and missed the boat. We'll see. 
Let's clarify these energies. Let's get some more information here. For my Leos, please, spirit. Messages you have for Leo in love. November 2020. Please. Keep seeing the lovers Gemini energy, but also like a, a union, a partnership, a choice. Really is, please. One more shuffle and then we can begin. Tell me about this page of pentacles. King of swords again. This is some sort of communication, I feel. This offer. A serious conversation about this. This is a uh, king of swords. They um Emotions aren't really their forte. They don't really uh, communicate based off of emotion. It's all about logic, reason, clear, direct conversation. Can I get one more about the Page of Pentacles, please? Eight of Swords reverse, breaking free of fear. Seeing a way out of a situation. Tell me about this King of Swords over here. Where is this King of Swords here? Huh. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. You know what the odds are? I'm using two different decks. The odds of getting the same exact cards. Upright <laughs> for the same exact spread or like your spread here. The odds are very slim, okay? Okay, tell me about the King of Swords. Wow, Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Leos, what? This is kind of exciting. I feel like this is an offer of love that's being made to you here. Tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse. Justice reverse, Libra energy, something that's unfair, unbalanced. Seven of Wands reverse. Five of Swords this is definitely something that's unfair. Someone's not playing fair or wasn't playing fair with you, Leo. There could have been deception. Someone wasn't fair to you. And, 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 and when it came to certain things that they told you, like you didn't have all of the information. This could be a legal situation that did not go your way or something here that feels like it didn't go your way. Um, I think you were really hurt in the past. I'm not sure if it's by this person specifically or just maybe in love. You haven't had the best experiences in love. And so I feel like um, you've put up some sort of wall protection mode here. And I feel like this person is breaking down those walls possibly. Queen of Wands at the bottom, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like there's a lot of attraction, chemistry. This is something that you want. There's a lot of people here, by the way. <laughs> I have King of Swords twice, King of Pentacles, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. What is this moon reversed about? all water here this is all emotions the moon reverse this is about a choice 
two of wands reverse. Why is the moon reverse? Nine of pentacles reverse. The world at the bottom. I feel like this could be somebody who's not very confident. Yeah, I have the Knight of Wands. This is the world is a, a new cycle, a new beginning, um, a new chapter in life. I feel like this person isn't very confident or has some sort of um, insecurity. And I feel like that's keeping them from, it's almost like it, it, they could still be going after something, but I think they're hesitating. I think that's why I have the three of wands here, reverse. There's hesitation on this person's part. And this could be hesitation because whatever comes out will be surprising to some or shocking to some with the moon reverse. Tell me about the King of Cups. I feel like this hangman is someone that's hanging around in suspension, you know, like not really making moves, just in love. Tell me about the King of Cups. The Sun Reverse, the Moon Reverse. Very interesting. Tell me about the King of Cups. Wow. Two of Cups fell out. What is this? Like a soulmate situation. There is a lot of love here. There you are at the bottom of the deck, Leo. Reversed. With strength. I feel like this is a lack of courage. I'm also getting with the Sun Reversed. This could be someone that hasn't admitted how they feel about you. You could be having a secret admirer. Or someone that hasn't opened up about how serious they feel about you here. Because I, it's almost like they're insecure about something coming to the light. And this is what they're hiding. A two of cups. Tell me about the queen of cups. Leo, please, sir. Three of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Eight of Cups. A departure, a difficult departure, a painful departure. It's like this person's thinking about their Queen of Cups walking away from them. Maybe they hurt their Queen of Cups. This person could have hurt you or you could have hurt them with some sort of a departure. I have a feeling this might be you because I have Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. Almost like you're, you're, this person's walking to their Nine of Cups to their Door of Healing and Happiness. Very interesting. If this is resonating, Leo, let me know down in the comments how it's resonating for you. It will not resonate for everyone, obviously, but I do love to hear from you how it resonates. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Five of Cups. This King of Pentacles has regrets. Disappointment has had some sort of a loss. Your chariot wanted to come out. Cancer energy. This is about moving forward, some sort of travel here, success. This King of Pentacles wants to move forward. And this is the second time I see the tower reversed. I feel like a tower happened in this connection or someone's avoiding a tower from happening. Why is the three of Wands reverse. 
Why is the three of wands? Wow, page of wands. This is crazy. Page of wands, two page of pentacles. This is a message. And the initial steps towards something. Can I get another card for the three of wands reverse? It could be that someone, let's see. Tell me about the three of wands reverse, please, spirit. For Leo. The star reverse Aquarius energy. Hermit reverse at the bottom. I feel like this is someone who, whatever they want in their mind, it's it's like they want to either heal something with the star reversed or they're losing hope or faith in, like they don't really have hope or faith that they'll be successful. I think they're gathering the strength to communicate. Maybe they're coming in. Wow, this is crazy. Can I get one more for the Three of Wands reverse, please? You could be living uh, at a distance from this person with the Three of Wands and the Chariot here. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse, please. The King of Pentacles again. <laughs> Ace of Wands at the bottom. This is a crazy reading, Leo. This is this is someone that definitely like they are thinking not just with their heart but with their mind and how to actually make it happen. The King of Pentacles, they don't make promises they can't keep. They don't start things that they don't think they're going to finish either. They're too careful for that. This might be outside of their comfort zone, whatever this is. This could be you as well, wanting to communicate with this person and maybe you don't have a lot of faith or hope. I feel like for a very small number of you, one of you is in a long-term commitment, possibly attached to a long-term commitment here. And so the other person feels like this is a hopeless situation that won't go anywhere, but I feel like this is a very small number of you. I feel for the the most part, I feel like this is someone who um, they're really thinking about how to make something happen that in their mind is hopeless situation, possibly because they've kept how they feel to themselves. Why is the full reverse? Why is the full reverse? Four of uh, pentacles reversed. Six of cups reversed. Someone hasn't... Um, interesting. Someone needs to let go of something from the past. Or hasn't let go of the past in some way. Have the devil at the bottom of the deck here. Capricorn energy. You know what I'm getting? It's almost like... This could go both ways, Leo. If you've been hurt in the past, I feel like you're not... How, how how you were hurt in the past, I feel like you're still carrying that with you in some way. It's very hard to let go of the past and how the, the feelings that are tied up to the past. I feel like this is also your person that could feel this way too, where um, I think by carrying the past with you, you are bringing some sort of baggage into this new beginning and that's why it's not really working the fool upright is someone carrying very light load they have like a tiny little bag with them and they're going somewhere you know where they have no idea how, where they're going to end up it's very light free uh risky energy you know and you can't really bring baggage to a journey like that You know, it's like running a marathon and then you decide to like at the last minute carry a huge backpack. <laughs> Can I get one more for the full reverse? And I don't know if this is you bringing this baggage into this connection or maybe you have baggage with each other. Tell me about the full reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Yeah. Um, 
I feel like there's some sort of situation here where someone's unable to put in effort or is unwilling to do the work it takes to overcome this past baggage. Perhaps there's no focus because maybe someone doesn't realize how can you work on something that you don't really even know is a problem? I don't think someone realizes that they're carrying this baggage with them or that they're still stuck in the past in some way or haven't been able to let go of something from the past. But I feel like there's a lot of potential here for abundance. I have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom here. What's behind that? Queen of Wands. Wow. And the Ace of Wands. Okay, so a, a lot of potential here for something new, a really passionate new beginning, a very loving connection. I am so happy to say that for my Leos. <laughs> so let's see, what's the potential outcome here? Potential outcome, please, in the near future for Leo. Hang on. Potential outcome, please, for Leo and this other person in the near future, please, Spirit. Two of coin, some sort of decision here. A back and forth, weighing the pros and cons, juggling. Look at the potential. What's the potential outcome for the near future? Someone could be very busy, have a lot on their plate, needing to choose. Oh, we got the Hermit, if I could pick it up. Virgo energy. Someone's really thinking, again with like the Hangman, the Hermit, this is someone that's thinking a lot, um, but hasn't really taken a lot of action. And I don't think this person has really taken a lot of action here. Down here, this Eight of Cups reversed with the Three of Swords and the Queen of Cups. This could be someone that, you know, maybe maybe you mirror each other, Leo, in the sense that you both have not been lucky in love. I feel like this is someone that's still hurt by the past in some way. Potential outcome, please, for Leo and this other person's spirit. This could be you or someone else. The world reverse. Okay, so I see kind of like a delay here in this new beginning, which it might just be that it needs time. Temperance at the bottom here, Sagittarius energy. It could just be that more time is needed. Someone's still trying to blend something, bring something into balance, into harmony. This could be unfinished business or someone that's still wrapping up loose ends before they're able to uh, start a new chapter. This also could be someone that really needs to close a chapter for good from the past. You cannot start a new chapter, this full reverse, world reverse, you cannot start a new chapter by bringing in the past with you. So I feel like someone's trying to figure out how to do that, two of coin, hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, a Sagittarius, does not have to be. I have a lot of signs on the board here. I think I have every sign. So um, yeah, it looks like someone's thinking about how to wrap up a cycle completely to have a new one. Perhaps they've withdrawn to really figure out their next steps. And um, But I don't really see a lot of action here. Um, I think this is still ongoing, Leo. But there's so much potential here. Ace of uh, Cups, Ace of Pentacles. I had an Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I had a Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. I feel like there's some sort of offer coming your way. Um, I, I think it's just a matter of time. All right, Leo, I will see all of you in another video. Take care.